It was just 10 days ago that volunteers started building these homes for veterans in Shreveport's Highland neighborhood. And already, two of the homes have walls up and a third is being framed. Despite the hard work put in by volunteers, for many of them, this is the first time they've done more than lift a hammer, let alone deal with one of these. But that lack of building experience doesn't seem to be keeping them back. I've learned quite a bit in the last 10 days about how a building is constructed and uh, I'm trying to be careful around the, the power saws and pneumatic nails and, and uh, all of the different saws that we're using. And a Los Angeles musician who brought his band to help has even less experience. I built like Legos, but that was like the last thing I built when I was like a kid, so this is, this is all new to me. But it's not new to One Small House's Gail Sierra. Even so, the New Yorker was impressed by the planning put in place by the Fuller Center. This is too good to be true because it puts together a community and it really, it's a holistic approach. It's not just giving somebody a home and walking away and maybe they'll be able to keep it and maybe they won't. It's actually building a community where veterans can support each other and help each other and grow and have healthy lives. Which was exactly the Fuller Center's plan when they came up with the idea for the project. In Shreveport, Annie Anderson, Fox 33 News, Arklatex.